<clears throat> Hello, everyone. It's uh, great to be in Shanghai, China, after uh, a few years away. I'm really excited to have uh, you know KubeCon back here in Shanghai. We've had a couple thousand of people over the last few days learning about cloud native technologies and reconnecting after uh, a few years uh, away. So we have definitely grown significantly over the years as an organization. Uh, CNCF now, you know, globally has 173 projects that are part of our community that continue to grow. We have over 200,000 contributors globally that are contributing code issues, pull requests, uh, and so on, representing um, you know, 8,000 different organizations and 190 countries uh, worldwide. So things have truly continued to grow since we've last been here uh, in, in China with KubeCon. If we kind of do a deep dive on you know, kind of the China market from a CNC perspective, we have 819 members part of our organization. Uh, you know, a little under 10% of them are actually from, you know, China uh, proper. We've had a long history of support from our Platinum members, uh, Huawei, Alibaba, and Volcano Engine, and we have a great uh, you know, cast of both silver and gold members that have supported organization. Uh, I am very happy today to announce that we do have a new gold member that joined recently. Um, should pop up, uh, you know, Dow Cloud, um, you know, has been a, a great kind of historic uh, supporter of CNCF in terms of code contribution. They are a cloud native innovator in the China market and has contributed to not only Kubernetes, but uh, a handful of other CNCF projects such as ContainerD, CubeEdge, Karmata, and so on. So we are grateful for uh, their support in joining CNCF as a gold member. So thank you uh, again. So that's the you know typical member uh, you know update. If you kind of look at overall contributions, I spent a lot of time looking at developer statistics and everything that kind of goes on in the CNCF community. And if you kind of look holistically, uh, the contributions coming from the China uh, region has consistently grown, uh, you know, every year. It, you know, on average, on, on you know, the whole, the, it represents about 9% of total contributions to the CNCF ecosystem. Uh, this year, things are pacing pretty good. You'll probably, you know, end up maybe, you know, close to 12% uh, overall. But if you kind of look at the overall market of CNCF contributors, you have the uh, US is first, China number two, India number three, and Germany number four. So we definitely appreciate the support uh, of, from all of you who have kind of contributed uh, code and ideas over, over the years. We kind of want to continue to invest in the market here. One thing that's been a little bit difficult over the last few years is it's been a little bit challenging to do a physical KubeCon uh, here. but. Thankfully, we have a fantastic community of folks here on the ground that have been organizing Kubernetes Community Days. These are essentially our events that are you know, for the community, by the community, that CNCF supports a little bit by, behind the scenes. We've had events in Chengdu, Beijing, Delhin, Hangzhou. Uh, we have an upcoming one, uh, again, <laughs> coming up at Hangzhou in October 2013. And someone, uh, someone informed me yesterday that there's another KCD happening in, in December later this year. So uh, thank you again for doing these. We love this. This is basically one of the ways we can kind of extend CNCF's uh, presence uh, all over the globe. The other thing I would like to thank is we have a great set of ambassadors. We have 15 people in China representing different companies, uh, projects, and, and organizations. You know, folks like Kevin, who's a uh, co-chair of FOG, and, and, and so on. And I haven't had the opportunity to meet uh, everyone here, but I do want to thank you from the bottom of my heart of everything you're doing to make it easier for us to, you know, spread cloud native uh, in, in, in China. It could definitely be a little bit challenging for me, who uh, my Chinese is, uh, is pretty terrible still after being here uh, enough. So thank you again for all the great work that our ambassadors are are doing in China. So projects, always near and dear to my heart. Um, we have actually 32 projects that we kind of consider born in China. So they, they came from, you know, a, a company originated here, and uh, they cover the gamut from things like Harbor, which is kind of a cloud native registry, to Vineyard, um, you know, to Karmata, Volcano, uh, you know, Dragonfly, which helps scale containers. So there's a lot of kind of very interesting innovation and diversity that is happening here, and it's kind of nice to kind of see this continue, um, you know, to grow. And I think, uh, you know, uh, recently uh, we had Harburg was the first project that graduated in China. Karmata recently came in uh, to incubating. We also have TaiKV uh, is a graduated project too. So it's just kind of great to kind of see the innovation that's happening in this ecosystem. Um, one thing we like to do 
for our graduated projects. Um, I remember when the Harbor team first came to CNCF, they're like, well, we want to grow a community here. Uh, it was a project based out of VMware China. We truly kind of want to make this you know, a, a global thing. And I'm like, well, that's one thing that CNCF is pretty good at. We do have a global community. And so uh, things have worked out very well for the project. It has grown. Um, and we have these project journey reports that basically show the details of who's contributing, how many people you know, new have come since the project has in entered different milestones in CNCF. So I would scan that QR code, take a look at it. It's a great report. You know, there'll be details like, you know, since joining CNCF, Harbor has 437 plus you know, more uh, co uh, companies or organizations contributing. Uh, there are now more contributions coming from outside of China to the project, which is great. It's built a global community. Um, and of course, a lot of uh, new individuals contributing to the project. And you know, there's wonderful quotes. I'm not going to go read through, but you know, you know, Harbor is being used all over the world now in places like CERN, places um, you know in China. I know even OVH Cloud in Europe is offering Harbor as a service. So truly, uh, a cool project. So to kind of you know wrap things up, um, you know, I want to have a couple thoughts here. So you know, I've been coming to China for probably 20 years, and for me. The kind of uh, you know uh, innovation you have when you kind of deal with a large you know population, innovative uh, you know you know technology, you truly come up with very interesting things. And something I've always appreciated is the desire to kind of share you know these ideas with the open source community. There's a couple interesting ones that kind of come to you know my mind. You know, obviously. Uh, you know, uh, Kubernetes is kind of uh, going through a bit of an evolution, and people are, you know, trying to run Kubernetes in cars, in space, and so on. And so I'm always kind of entertained uh, when I come across projects like Kubeedge, which are kind of really truly, um, you know, pushing the limits of what you could do with, you know, cloud native in terms of using it as a platform to basically orchestrate satellites and kind of make communication more efficient across kind of these little ant satellites. So. Um, Love this uh, type of work and uh, you know, really encourage folks in the community to kind of continue sharing this because um, if you kind of um, heard from Jim's keynote uh, you know, you know, yesterday, you know, we, we, we kind of live in very interesting you know, times, right? The, the world is going through all sorts of uh, interesting you know, uh, views of potentially you know, techno-nationalism regarding open source and to me, you know, I, I've been doing open source for 25 plus years, and the thing that I've always enjoyed is open source has always been open to everyone. You know, people help uh, each other all over the world, no matter which company, country, or uh, you know, organization you work with. And you know, to kind of uh, you know iterate from Jim's message yesterday, um, CNCF, the Linux Foundation, we truly believe uh, open source is a global endeavor. It's something that we continue to push for. I personally, uh, you know, fight for. I also think it's actually the key to the longevity and sustainability of, of open source projects. Um, I know some of you are maybe familiar with, um, uh, for your developers in the audience, uh, you know, Linus, who works on the Linux kernel, there's this thing called Linus's law, right? Like, you know, the more, you know, eyes look at something, you know, essentially, uh, you know, uh, bugs become a little bit more shallow. Basically, you know, I kind of have a bit of a corollary to that where I think the more you have open source maintainers that um, essentially are diverse, contributing from different countries and organizations, the healthier and potentially more sustainable your project will be. And it's something that we truly try to uh, enable and build uh, in CNCF. And uh, anytime any of you have uh, you know, questions on how you could do that or how we could kind of make that easier for your project here, please let us know. It's truly something that I think about personally daily. And we at both the CNCF and Linux Foundation want to kind of continue uh, to support. So truly, uh, Team Cloud Native, which we kind of all call ourselves, we consider ourselves a global community. And um, you know, thank you for everyone who's kind of been part of that uh, journey over the last uh, eight years. So to kind of uh, you know, end things with, uh, with a bit of a final, th uh, final ask is, you know, the last few days, I've come across a lot of amazing end users, you know, in China, from like banks to agricultural retail. We have an annual survey that we put together every year. Um, we would love everyone to fill this out. Tell us how you're using our CNCF projects. What, what use cases? What's missing? Please fill this out because we truly want more data from the uh, Chinese uh, uh, community and, and market. So. Um, 
please do that. We'll obviously share and open source all the results afterwards. And um, you know, thank you again for all the amazing uh, work and kind of kindness uh, some, some of you have uh, shown me over the last uh, few days. So thank you again, and uh, enjoy the rest of this conference. We will be back here uh, next year for sure, and look forward to kind of sharing details of what we're doing in the China market in uh, 2024. So thank you again.